Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is D, and today we are continuing The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker on the Oculus Rift Development Kit 1. Now, um, last time we managed to finally find a shield. We got it from our grandmother, she gave it to us, and then we got on the pirate ship. And our new boss, who is the former uh, lowest pirate on the crew, uh, Nico, he gave us this test where we had to jump across all these platforms, which I did pretty well on, and then I got the treasure, which was the spoils bag, and then just like that, we're at the Forbidden Fortress, and I, I met all the crew members, I know all of these people now, and um, now I'm ready to go into the fortress and rescue my sister from that giant bird that took her. Um, today I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to be playing uh, in third person as opposed to playing in first person. Uh, I was using a first person AR code or cheat, which causes you to be in first person all the time in my previous episodes. In this one I just turned that off, so we're going to be playing in the standard view that the game uses. Um, there's uh, The main reason I was avoiding it was because in the standard view, if you look left or right, there's an effect where it will cause the view to roll a little bit and you'll see what I'm talking about when we're in the game but um, it's not a huge deal uh, but I, I think it could be a little bit easier to play in first person um, but I, I think third person is also great because you get to watch Link running around and uh, and see his trademark green clothes and everything so I think it'll be good to try both of them especially in an episode like this which I have a feeling is going to involve a lot of battling and if previous episodes have taught me anything it's that battling up close in first person is a little bit awkward. Now, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the game. Alright, here we are in the game. I've got my Xbox 360 controller ready to go. Um, I decided to actually go back a little bit to the last part right before we did the puzzle so that I could show you what it looks like completing this puzzle in third person instead of in first person. The first thing I want to show you is the rolling I was talking about. So if I look to the right, it's a bit hard to see on the right. If I look to the left, it's a bit hard for you guys to tell, but the entire world is leaning a bit, rolling a bit to the left as I look left. It doesn't look quite right. So um, that's, that's one of the issues of third person, but it's not a big deal. I actually find this puzzle to be more difficult in third person than first person. I tried it earlier. I had to try it several times to get it done right. So maybe I just suck today, but it seemed to be more difficult. And it wasn't because I couldn't jump on the torches. I kept just jumping off them at the wrong time. All right, let's go. Just two more. And... Okay, one more, one more. The torches are doing that weird double image thing again. I'm not sure what's causing that. And, oh shit, running out of time, running out of time. Yep. And jump. I read all this dialogue last time. I'm going to skip right through it. My underling. Yes, I am your faithful underling. I will follow you to the ends of the earth. So you can really tell now when I look to the right that that is all just leaning sideways. I'm not sure what causes that. Also, all the platforms disappear when they are out of your view. There's all these things that happen when the camera looks away in video games. And you just never know they happen. Alright, let's get our spoils bag. I love this animation. The first time in um, Ocarina of Time that I ever saw someone open a chest with the full animation, just comparing that to, you know, the same thing in Link to the Past, it was amazing. It was ridiculous. Bye. Hey, D! We've reached the Forsaken Fortress! Hurry and get up here! Alright, let's get a move on. Hey, Nika. Yeah, but there's still so much stuff I have to teach you. This is so lame. Oh, well. I guess you can wait until you finish whatever it is you have to do. Don't worry, Nico. I'll always be back for you. I'll never forget the time we shared. All right, I'm off. So 
Sometimes I really like third person. I think I can get used to it. Because it's nice to kind of look where Link is going before he gets there. Hey, guy. Stop right there! This is Mitz Tetra's cabin! Okay, I went in there earlier. I want to go out here. Hey! D, Here I am! Up here! Okay, she's in the crow's nest. What's this guy up to? Was Nico's test easy? Really? You bet. I'm just I'm just that pro. You don't know. The young miss is waiting for you up above. We've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Aren't you dramatic? Yep. Hey big guy. What are you doing, shrimp? Miss Tetra's waiting for you up in the crow's nest. Shake a leg, yeah? Go! Hook it! Alright, Jesus. Oh, this is so cool. I can look right up the ladder as I'm climbing it. I can look out at the, s at the ocean. Oh, we're in a cutscene. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure. Where are you? What? Treasure? No, I don't... I don't have any treasure. Oh, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, man. Whoa. There's the bird. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Man. Ah, I knew it! Look! What? Where? Over there, by that window! Seagulls! They must be there to see Errol. Seagulls are Errol's friend. I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? Oh, she's got an idea. She's doing her winking thing. Oh, God. Link's, Link's not very happy about this. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. I'm, I, I think this would probably kill me in real life. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Oh, dear. Two. One. Whoa. Bye-bye. Ah! It looked like Link was coming right at me there. And I'm landed. There's my sword. Oh, did my sword just... Drop down. And I'm in the water. This was a bad plan, Tetra. I blame you. Forsaken Fortress. Alright, well, looks like step one is to reclaim my sword, wherever the hell it landed. Uh, at least I have my shield. Can I use my shield? Looking for the button that uses my shield. There we go. Your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. <laughs> the look on your face. 
priceless. Jerk. Hey. <laughs> I slipped this stone in your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. Oh, they're talking to me. Through a magic stone. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So, if you see Sparkly A, you better press that button. I put the stone on your quest status screen. Press start and use L or R to scroll around. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, you understand? You gave me your magic stone. I'm going to do what I want with it. Spotlight. Up there is where the bird is. Okay. Let's get going then. Ooh, barrels. Oh my gosh, I can hide in the barrels. I'm like Solid Snake. This is so cool. I want all the rupees. Forget my sister. I'm going to get rich. Did I see a red rupee over there? Was that just my imagination? Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. That's real money. Nobody here but us barrels. This is hard. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. Just wait for the spotlights to recede. And I'm out of here. I want to get these. Oh, right. No sword. More rupees. Oh, shit. Oh, those things were right on top of me there. Okay, better be careful. Okay, I'm good. All right. Get back under this barrel. Be on our way. Is there anything back here? No. Do I want to open this door? Can I open this door? I don't think I can. I think it's too big. I'll give it a shot. Alright, I'm inside. What's in here? Hmm, not much. Got some pots to smash, so that's always a good sign. What's that sound? Oh shit! What the hell was that thing? I can't fight that! I've gotta run away! Oh shit, guards! I can't fight the guards. I have to hide. Okay. Great. Great. This just turned into a stealth game. I hope he can't smell me. You would think he could smell me even if I'm inside the barrel. Alright, let's go. They are pretty dumb, thankfully for me. Okay. Let's get out of this room. Okay. So far, so good. Gotta find another barrel to hide from them. Oh, so many things to smash around here. It's so tempting. I just want to smash all this stuff. All these teacups and plates. Uh-oh, bats. Stay away, bats. Oh, this isn't a barrel I can hide in. Can I throw it at these guys? Ooh, five rupees. Nice. Okay. There we go. I'm hiding. All right.
Oh, that guy is... Look at him. I believe these were the first enemies that were shown in the original, like, uh, demos of Wind Waker. Ow! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, shit, shit. Ah, uh, stupid rat. Ah. Uh, at least all they did was put me outside. Where am I now? Oh, I'm gonna have to escape, aren't I? I'm in prison. I'm in jail. Doing hard time. Luckily, there is this hole. This is weird being so close up behind Link. There we go. Okay, is this the room I was just in? Oh, a treasure chest. I want it. What's in the treasure chest? Is it a map? Is it a compass? It's the map! Oh yeah! Green areas are the ones you visited. The flashing area is your current location. Let's check out the map. Um, how do I check out the map? Um... I should have paid attention to how to bring that up. Um... Oh, it's just the thing in the lower left, isn't it? Okay. Oh! No, I have to press up. Okay. Um, okay, it looks like I'm on the second floor. I'm in this room. All the rooms I'm connected to here I haven't been to before. And there are two rooms on the lower floor I haven't been to. Okay, okay. I got it. Um, uh, need to get out of the map. I'm learning the controls here as I go. I've forgotten the original controls of this game. All right. Got to make sure I get all the money. I don't even know why I'm collecting rupees. I have nothing particular in mind that I want to buy. I just... It's a habit. Okay. Got to cross this chasm. There we go. More pots to smash over here. Can't lower any pot going smashed. So far, so good. What's in here? Over there's my pirate ship. Oh, come on, come on. Ah! There we go. What's going to be up here? Oh, I'm getting closer to the bird's nest now. But I need to get my sword back first, don't I? Where's my sword? I, I don't think I want to be up here, guys. Oh, no. Okay, okay. So he must be the searchlight operator. Can I attack him? I saw a pot over there with some things in it. Alright, let's do it. Oh, the stick is annoying. There we go. I was hitting the wrong button. I kept hitting the A button to throw it, but I wanted to hit the B button to swing it. All right. Ooh, rupees. All right, let's turn this thing off. Or it's already off, isn't it? They're all aimed at the sky now. Okay. 
Took care of that guy. Let's get down. Is there anything up here I need to grab before I go back inside? Oh, I could just go across here to the next place. What's over here? Oh, there's like a courtyard in there of rubies. I can see it. Okay. I'll find a way to get those rubies later. Okay. Creepy stone statue. Bunch of ships. And I've got to swing across. Let's do this. And ah! jump! Yep. Oh no! Oh, I fell. I was doing so good. That's fine. I didn't need to stay up there. Oopsie. Pay no attention to the guy breaking cups up here. Five rupees. Okay, well, let's take a little jump down. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It's making laser eyes. I didn't know it could do that. All right, time to hide. All right, not gonna let him catch me this time. Does he smell me? Oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. All right, second time getting thrown in jail. Time to jailbreak. I'm glad someone keeps replacing this pot. Ooh, five rupees. I might get captured just to get the money. All right. And once I'm out of here, I assume the jail cell's in the same place every time. Yeah, it is. It appears to be. Okay. Now that I've broken out of jail for the second time, and I deactivated one of the searchlights, I've started exploring this place. Uh, next time, we're hopefully going to get my sword back and find my sister and rescue her. So let me know any tips you have for this game. As you can see, I'm playing fairly badly. Still learning the ropes. No pun intended. And um, let me know any other uh, demos you want me to play on the Rift. That's all for today. Everybody have a great every day.